Hello shrimp fam, welcome to Mark Shrimp Tanks. In today's video we are going to be looking at some little parasitic eggs from Scutellera japonica. Let's go! guys, so this is going to be a relatively short video, but I thought the footage that I found of Scutellera japonica eggs was uh, too good not to share online. So they are a tiny little parasitic worm that lives on the end, most of the time lives on the end of the shrimp's rostrum. They start their life in the shrimp's gill plate or under the shrimp's gill plate, right? And as, I, as we're talking here, right, I'm going to have the footage of the, of the shrimp that I've found. Yeah, you can see that from the footage that this, this shrimp is buried, it's a type of, some type of neocaridina and you can see that it has its own eggs but under the gill plate you will be able to see some Scutellera japonica eggs right and they are under the gill plate and this is what can sometimes make treating Scutellera japonica a little bit difficult in that the eggs are somewhat protected right so those little eggs that you see they will hatch out and then they will, the little worms they will actually crawl out of the gill and then move up towards the shrimp's rostrum around the eyes and the antenna right? and that's where they'll generally stay. My concern is anything that goes into the gills could uh, impact on the gills, on the shrimp's um, intake of oxygen and water flow and all that kind of thing right so I tend to be of the opinion that anything that lives on anything else that is a parasite is something that you should probably remove. I mean, it could probably cause, I would imagine that these little things could probably cause uh, some type of bacterial infection in the sheeting on the on the shrimp's uh, actual skin or gill plate or whatever you want to call it. I would imagine that there could be the possibility of bacterial infections anywhere where you have another object that is somehow damaging the uh, structure of the shrimp that that's a point where bacteria and other things like viruses and whatever else can get in and you could have issues right so if you ever come across this it is fairly easy to treat scutellaria japonica is very very easy to treat um, I've probably had it once or twice in a couple of decades that I've had it but you, usually when you treat it once it is uh, gone the next time if you have it specifically on just one or two shrimp what you might consider doing guys is you might consider just doing a salt bath and I think my recommended dose for this is half a teaspoon of salt try and use aquarium salt and then mix it with one liter of water right so let me say that again that's half a teaspoon of aquarium salt with one liter of water give it a mix make sure it's all soaked in and good and then you're going to scoop out your shrimp from your tank of the infected shrimp and you're going to place it in the water, right? So basically what happens is, because there is an osmotic difference, it basically, if the salinity in the water is greater than the salinity in the, in the parasite's cell, what happens to it is the cell explodes, right? And that's how you kill all these little parasites. It doesn't kill the shrimp because the shrimp is, is a much bigger organism. Right? So in basic tiny organisms like little flatworms like Scutellera or Japonica, doing this can kill them. You can also uh, use something like Noplanaria if you have it on a lot of your shrimp. This is typically, guys, a type of parasite that only lives on Neocaridina or in those parameters. So I'm not sure if it's something to do with pH or whatever else, why we don't see them in our bee shrimp tanks. But yeah, that's how you can treat. You can use Noplanaria salt dips. Um, there was recently someone on my aquarium shrimp keeping forum that said that they were going to use um, salt in their tank itself. I don't like um, adding salt to my tanks that way because that type of salt adding it to the tank is very hard to remove. And um, it's not always beneficial to plants and stuff. Sodium basically is what we're adding to the tank. Yeah, so you don't want to add salt directly to the tank. You want to try and treat the, the shrimp outside of the tank. And you're only going to do it for maybe two or three minutes at most, and then you're going to net the shrimp out and put it back in the tank right if it's only one or two shrimp guys right you, what you'll also do is uh, watch for the shrimp to mold because often doing a salt dip like this this will induce the shrimp to mold and then uh, what you're best doing because we're describing uh, the eggs of scutellaria japonica uh, what you're best doing is going into the tank 
with a set of tweezers or a net and removing the molt right because then you're removing the eggs of the parasite as well hope you guys have found this video helpful at all if you wouldn't mind then please do subscribe and like and guys i'll see you on the next one happy shrinking